peer review is a process of assessing the quality of a piece of work and it's designed to highlight the good points and the areas for improvement. Peer review is pushing the boundaries of a discipline through constructive and challenging feedback. Peer review is the way that the scholarly community comes together to guarantee the quality of scholarly work. Peer review, I think, is the, the, at the very heart of academic practice, bringing out the best research can actually do in one particular area of scholarship. Peer review is a fundamental part of our decision-making processes at the HRC. It allows us to tap into the expertise of our researchers in making decisions about the kinds of projects we're going to support and the kinds of investment we want to make in key strategic areas, but also across the 50 disciplines we support. To give feedback on the quality of the proposal and to rank proposals when more than can be funded come in at the same time. Ultimately, peer review is about researchers making academic judgments and assessments of their colleagues and providing us with the expert advice on decisions we'll make. Once a proposal is received by the HLC, the relevant subject team selects a group of reviewers that will be used to assess that proposal. What those reviewers are looking for is the excellence of the research, the ability to deliver what's supported in the project, the kinds of issues they're going to be focusing on, or is this the right group of researchers, is there the right experience and skills, but also is this project ambitious, creative, innovative, that really it should be a priority for funding at the present time. As part of that assessment process, they're going to look at the individual elements of the application very, very carefully. What are the project's aims? What are the kinds of new things that that project will do that couldn't be possible through other means of funding support? Once the peer reviews have been undertaken, the applicant will in most cases have a right to respond to those peer reviews. So they will receive the peer reviews. They'll then be given around about a week to provide um, a feedback response to the ways in which those reviewers have assessed their proposal. I think this is one of the fundamental parts of the process that very often gets overlooked by research organisations and individual researchers. This is the stage at which peer review can really inform the improvement of research. It's about the individual principal investigator or the project team responding to the constructive criticism that peer reviewers have provided. On the one hand, this is to answer the criticisms, it's to provide a justification or a response that can inform the panel's discussion of the proposal at a later stage. But fundamentally, it should also be about the researcher thinking about the ways in which those comments can actually make for a better research project. I was first motivated to become a peer review member for the HRC when I had a, a grant uh, from the AHRB, its predecessor. Uh, and the process of uh, receiving the grant involved receiving very, very insightful peer reviews from a number of fellow academics, some of which gave me ideas about my own research that I wouldn't have gained from any other source. This is the stage at which peer review can really inform the improvement of research. I've got the expert advice from these three reviewers completely free. I can improve the quality of my research if I take forward some of the recommendations that they might have made. It's about the individual principal investigator or the project team respond into the constructive criticism that peer reviewers have provided. On the one hand this is to answer the criticism but fundamentally it should also be about the researcher thinking about the ways in which those comments can produce better research as a result of that process.